Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, we're down here on the farm on the coast. We put the strawberries to bed the other night. I've got some footage for it. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. Like anything else, we got ready to pull the covers across the rows. Just about time the wind picked up. And uh, it's kind of hard to record and hold on to it. Everybody yelling and screaming, carrying on. They cover 50 foot wide at a time, so it gets to be a challenge, but it did get down to about 28 degrees, so Walter and everybody's glad we covered them up. I'd like to take a minute right now and thank all the new subscribers and all the old ones. And to all the new subscribers, I'd really like to leave you a comment. And if you would, leave me a comment on the video and Kind of tell me what you're looking for in my channel, whether it's the off-grid building or the farming and the garden, uh, the market garden and whatnot. Uh, be curious to know. I'd really like to figure out YouTube and figure out how I can send a thank you to each one of you individually. I haven't yet figured that out on YouTube yet, but every time I learn something, they update it and change it, and then I'm lost again. But... We got a little bit here on the farm update, and then we got the uh, cooler shed. We were all but ready for the metal roof now. So stay tuned and give a good look at this thing. And let me know what you think. Well, this is about the third half day I've worked on this building. Everybody at the farm has done gone to Savannah for the Southeast uh, Vegetable Growers Association meeting. So I get to work here in the peace and quiet by myself. I don't have 15 for me. What I've done is figured I'd better stop and record some. I get in the habit of not doing it. But I leaned them up against this header and then got up on the ladder and stuck them up. Now I'm standing them up, crown up. We've got a string down here, kind of matching this last piece. It'd be hard to see, but got a string line there all the way down to that end rafter down there. From there back and uh, we're just lining them up screw them in place right now then we're gonna go ahead and lay out the back ones get them laid out put the cross members on the top I remember I'll keep filming some of this the roofing was supposed to be in sometime today so maybe Monday morning or something we'll get out here and put the roof on Walter felt bad about it he been raining and wet and he didn't haul no dirt in here so Monday morning we're supposed to get rain Saturday evening Sunday up to about a half inch so if it isn't too bad and the dirt piles not too wet we're gonna get in here and dig out around the bottom board and hopefully Tuesday maybe pour concrete and start setting the cooler up but uh, we're progressing on this thing pretty good we got all the great big headers up. We've got these great big glue lambs stuck in over here and they're all bolted up. And I'll get back to you in a little bit. Well, here it is. It's got the uh, cross members on now. Today's Friday. It's just about one o'clock. We're going to knock off early. Uh, we waiting on metal. And uh, first thing Monday morning, we're going to get in here and dig out the rest of the boards and dig a footing around the edge and level everything up, pack it down, order concrete, put some plastic and rebar in it. And uh, then we'll be able to go ahead and put the sides on it and get it all kind of halfway weathered in. Three, two, one. Well, I wanted to show you this. We had some the other night. This is not what I had the other day but of course that's a purple but this is a green cauliflower of course purple heads they're on their way down they're just about done but this is the green one of course that's the old cheddar that's the yellow looking i don't know how close i can get up on it and show you the texture of this thing and i'll have to ask walter again what the name of it is but it's got these little looks like pyramids coming out of it these little things but it is a cauliflower. It is good. To me, it does have taste. The purple and everything, white cauliflower is just kind of bland tasting, but it does actually have a flavor to it. Uh, 
I'm sorry I don't have a refined palate, so I can't tell you exactly what all it tastes like, but it does have flavor to it. But I will get up, if you look at it, you can see it comes up to little points right here versus the round stuff of regular looking cauliflower. But it's just now starting to come in. It's something the chefs wanted and Walter tried it. Got a couple thousand of them and just trying to see if he can grow it and what it's gonna be like. But uh, today's like the 9th, 10th of January. And uh, we're gonna take you along. We're gonna start seeding the greenhouse the 19th of January. We'll be doing a, a pile of cabbage cauliflower broccoli brussels sprouts a bunch of different color broccolis and brussels sprouts and but we're going to take you along put that bring that little air seeder out and we're going to go ahead and do that on the 19th of january well here the bees were tearing it up just having a field day on it farmer walter's getting ready it got 65 almost 70 degrees and he got itchy and he came in here and flail mowed the whole field down I guess first of the week, this is Friday right now, they'll be lifting plastic, plowing beds up, getting ready. As I said before, January here, it's about 10th and 19th, we're going to start seeding the greenhouse. And then when we seed that greenhouse, it is six weeks till we put the plants out. So, seven weeks from now, we're going to be planting broccoli. So we'll show you the greenhouse when we're seeding it, but we're getting ready. Here is a bunch of these covers we pulled and weighted down over top of all the strawberry beds. This is one field. We got six fields of strawberries this year for you pick it and wholesale market. So almost looks like it snowed around this place. Well, this is us trying to put these covers on in the wind. Like anything else, we could have used about 10 people at this time, but I tried to edit most of it out of falling down, tripping over the beds and tripping on the stuff and getting blown away. But I'd like to thank you for watching. Subscribe, tell your friends about it. And like I said, leave me a comment and tell me what you're really interested in the channel. I appreciate it and... We'll take you along for the cooler build and everything else. Hopefully first week we'll be getting it done. Thank you for watching.